Hi guys, uh, today we are going to learn requiring a deleted file in Linux. For example, a file is there uh, which is already used by some other processes. Okay, so but that is actually uh, unexpectedly deleted uh, by you with rm command or any uh, like any command that you ran and then the file got deleted. Okay, how to record that file? So we have already list listed the steps which I'm going to follow now. Uh, let's see how we can recover. Okay, so um, let me open this system. So, for example, let's delete any file here. Okay, uh, let's say uh, slash var slash log messages that everyone familiar with. I deleted this file. Okay, um, but before deleting, what I'll do is um, let's say I'll make it uh, uh, useful by some other process. Okay. I am using like uh, to see the trailing logs uh, for that file. Okay, slash var slash log message file. So here the logs are visible. I mean, uh, if something is updated in this file, it will keep on like trailing the logs, right? So um, it is actually uh, processing now. And uh, if I see like if I delete this file, it is asking whether you wanted to delete or not. Yes, I wanted to delete. The file got deleted. Now, if you want to like uh, uh, see the data in that, uh, so if you open that slash var slash log messages file, right? The, this is the world file, right? So if you open this file, no such file are directory, which means the file is deleted, right? So how we can recover it actually, right? That is what the actual stuff right now. So for that, first we need to actually run the lsof command list of open files uh, actually it will actually open so all the files opened by a specific uh, um, uh, i mean uh, specific uh, process okay so let's say like lsof list of open files by all the processes in the system okay so lsof um, we can give pipeline grep what is the file actually slash var slash log right and then messages so this is the file which i'm going to uh, like uh, uh, pick it up so these are all the like uh, the files which are i mean these are all the um, uh, i mean list of open files right so you can see this is deleted and this is deleted it is opened by multiple uh, multiple processes here right so there is also tail process which is uh, which was using here right now that file got deleted. What is actual? Uh, what is actual stuff here, right? So you can see this is the process ID for it, and the three or three is the like uh, uh, three is the uh, file descriptor number uh, for everything like file descriptor we have. That is like a read with the read permission that that got opened actually. Okay, so now we need to actually uh, copy this actually. So for every file, it will actually create a, a file descriptor. Okay, so file descriptor means actually um, like a non-negative number integer in the operating system, which is used to like uniquely identify the file in the uh, system. Actually, that is actually created by system itself and uh, used by like process to access the files or sockets and any other input output or resources which are available in the system. Okay, so um, we need to like uh, uh, pick that file actually using ls command so how to pick that file or uh, inside slash proc there, there could be active one right so using that we need to pick it so ls hyphen l slash proc what is the process id here 5294 right so this is the process id just copy that like 5294 okay and uh, fd means file descriptor you just know what is fd so which is uh, for every process it will it will create so for, uh, what is the fd here like 3r means read and write permission right so this is the read permission here we just give the number so what this command does actually so this indicates actually the file opens for read uh, reading by the process for which process that is tail process what is the process ID for it? This is the process ID. So we need to list out whether that is there or not. So this is the actual file for the deleted file. 
so which is already there which is which is not which is still there we can copy this file to to the same location and then we can access it okay how to copy the file using cp right using cp slash proc slash uh, what is the process id 5294 right 5294 that is fd and slash 3 so this file we need to copy to the same location so where the file was in this location so just give enter it will be copied now if you go to slash var slash log okay so give ls or give ll you can see the file is copied here okay this is the file you just need to rename it okay so mv space 3 with the messages as a file name just give enter it got renamed now you can see cat space messages file this is the file okay so this is how you can um, like recover any deleted file which is uh, being used by some other processes okay so um, here so what we did uh, when we deleted file you just have to like uh, open all the list of processes that have the uh, file open using this lsof command we can fetch it uh, with uh, with of uh, help of grep command and uh, this file actually like uh, uh, whatever you, we are keeping it here for every like in the slash proc we can see for every process id so we are picking the process id from this command and then we are picking the like fd file descriptor that is three right and uh, uh, we are copying that file and then we are uh, like actually moving that file i mean renaming that file to uh, the original name so you just have to copy that file to the same location uh, not with the different location try to copy the same location so that you will get it so that is what i wanted to cover in this video uh, uh, you can subscribe to my channel uh, let me know if you have any doubts you can feel free to ping in the chat um, for more updates you can click on bell icon thank you bye bye